Indeed. So, Jennifer, tell us about Moms Demand Action for Gun Sense in America, a fairly new organization, right? Um, founded by a mother in Indiana the day after Newtown happened on December 14th. Um, December 15th, uh, Shannon Watts woke up and said, um, I've got to find a way to do something about this. And what she did was she looked for an organization akin to Mothers Against Dunk Driving, yeah, um, but yeah. related to gun violence, and she didn't find one, so she started her own. And, um, you know, just over six months later, we have... Uh, 105,000, over 105,000 Facebook fans on our on our Facebook page. Um, we have a very active membership of nearly 100 chapters across the country. Whoa. I mean, everywhere, um, in uh, over 40 states, and, and as well as the District of Columbia. Um, and we are not giving up. It's, we um, are not taking no for an answer, as you said earlier. Um, we want to see common sense gun reform passed. Um, and we're not giving up until we see that legislation through. And, by the way, for the rest of you who want to join up and help this cause and mom, moms demand action for gun sense in America, uh, the way to do so is to go online to momsdemandaction.org, right? Correct. Momsdemandaction.org. Why is this issue so important to you? Do you have kids? I do. I'm a mother, and I'm a mother of a soon-to-be first grader, as well as a two-year-old. And um, so when the massacre at Sandy Hook happened, it hit me in the gut like no other event that I've ever experienced. Um, it was like 9-11 for mothers, and um, I felt like I had to do something. I mean, I volunteered at my daughter's kindergarten class the following Monday, and there were 21 children sitting in front of me and two educators, and the magnitude of that tragedy um, was something that I couldn't ignore, I couldn't turn away, and there are hundreds of thousands of mothers just like me. Um, you don't take anything more seriously or to heart than the safety of your children. And um, I feel like when Newtown happened, a lot of moms woke up and said, that could have been my child. And the more I learn about the ec epidemic of gun violence in the U.S., um, you know, I've learned that a child or teen is shot and killed every three hours in this country. Mm. It's unacceptable. And um, we're going to change that. And were you, you must have been frustrated when the moms and dads from Newtown came to Washington uh, for some, I believe, common sense mm -hmm. reform. Uh, just a simple background check uh, in, well, for every purchase of every gun. And yet this Congress met with them, listened to them, and then voted against them. Yes, frustrated is a very mild word. I would say <laughs> appalled, disgusted. Um, it was a travesty. Um, and after that, the media narrative and, you know, the common sense, you know, voices around around the Capitol seem to say, all right, well, gun reform is dead. And mm -hmm. we're here to say that is not the case. Um, mothers are awake to this issue. We're going we're poised to be a force in 2014 elections. We're going to hold legislators accountable and they're going to learn very quickly that we're voting on this issue now. What are the measures that you are supporting with you that we'd like, like to see in the conversation? Yes. Well, first of all, background checks, um, most certainly for um, all gun and ammunition purchases. We'd also like to see a ban enacted on assault-style weapons and ammunition magazines that hold more than 10 rounds. Um, we want to establish product safety oversight of gun and ammunition and require things like child safe technology. Um, mm -hmm. The technology is out there. Um, there is a bill um, that, that uh, deals with that technology um, that we're supporting, and we want to track the sale of large quantities of ammunition and ban online sales. And also, and this goes a little bit beyond legislation, but encourage corporate responsibility and encourage businesses, educational institutions, um, and other institutions to enact uh, gun-safe policies, essentially. Uh, in their workplace, you mean? In the workplace. There? In um, Yes, for example, we are launching a campaign this week, actually, to call out Starbucks. Um, you may not know this, but Starbucks in areas, um, in states that allow open carry, allow patrons to carry firearms into their stores. They don't allow guns in their he corporate headquarters, but they allow patrons to carry them into their stores. And 
we <laughs> guns yeah. in Starbucks. Exactly. Right? So in DC, yeah. it's not allowed, for example, but cross over into Virginia, and you could very well be standing next to someone, you know, holding a loaded weapon. Um, we don't think that's an appropriate or um, wise policy. There's there have been accidental shootings in Starbucks, and we think, you know, they've they've um, banned smoking, for example, outside of their stores as well as inside recently, and yet they allow guns. And we're just saying, you know. Secondhand smoke is is dangerous, but a secondhand bullet is dangerous too. Uh, so. Yeah, we have such a weird sense of priorities sometimes in this country. Uh, mothers demand, <coughs> pardon me, it's moms. Moms demand action for gun sense in America. Moms demand action dot org. Jennifer Hoppy is the uh, is is the program director, and and so how what are you asking people to do? Write letters. Uh, Make up signs, mm -hmm. protest, uh, all of the above. Um, we are one of the unique things about our organization is um, we have a lot of. We started via social media. We're very present on social media, but our moms go offline and and visit their legislators. We have um, done things called stroller jams, where moms actually bring their children. I've done this myself to their legislators' offices yeah. and um, yeah. you know go on mass with their children and, and say. The strollers. And the strollers, that's right. You can shut traffic down, man, yeah. with enough strollers. Oh, yes, oh, yeah. yes, yes, especially I, with my two-year-old, let me tell you. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> but, you know, so they, we, we talk to them as moms, and we have authority and authenticity as mothers. Um, we're not doing this. We're certainly not doing this for prestige or money or anything. Our motives are very, very pure. And I think that resonates with legislators. Um, just this past weekend, we had moms all over the country marching in parades. Um, we went out. Um, they had ma made handmade flags with their kids. The theme was um, declare independence from gun violence. Mm -hmm. um, and to that end, we also partnered with Mayors Against Illegal Guns. Um, and to have an online petition, we got over 85,000 signatures. Um, and during this holiday week, remember this is a holiday week when moms could have been doing anything they wanted to do. Yeah. Um, the, we uh, generated more than a thousand calls to the House and Senate. We um, sent nearly two thousand emails to legislators, and we sent thousands of tweets. Yeah. So we're active and engaged, and um, they're hearing from the legislators are hearing from us. The, this is the force unchain the moms of America. I think we'll <laughs> see some action uh, on this issue. They won't listen to moms. Who will they listen to? Uh, yeah, that's but, you a know, maybe question. some of these politicians, they might actually find somebody they could communicate with in two-year-olds, <laughs> you know, and they sort of have the same tactics of whining and raising their voices. And Your comments on uh, this program here, a new force in American politics, moms demand action for gun sense in America. Give us a call at 866-55-PRESS. We'll be back with Jennifer Hoppe here on the Full Court Press this Monday morning. Chatting with you live at current.com slash Bill Press. This is the Bill Press Show, live on your radio and current TV.